Good afternoon and welcome to BBC Online. I'm Flo Pollock and I'm here in the West Midlands for this Woking game against Solihull Moors in the National League. It is absolutely bitterly cold here. Thoughts out of this one, Ian? Yeah, as ever, it's going to be an interesting game. Looking at Solihull's record, they've been quite up and down. I look back over the last eight games. They drew, drew, then won a couple, then drew, then they lost three on the row, and then they beat Grimsby 2-0. So. Certainly, so we're about to get underway here. It's Solihull who will kick us off in their yellow shirts, blue shorts and yellow socks against Woking in their home kit. They are away, but the away kit clashes. So we've got the nice red and white half and half kit. The ball is in the centre of the park. Lofthouse um, kicks it out for a throw in just in front of Alan Dowson. Musa Diara then returns the ball to Casey and we're getting a minute's applause now on six minutes for Arthur Lambinjo Hughes who passed away. A minute's applause for that. I think that's happening around other grounds as well, Ian. So, Alarakia. It's an in-swinger. It comes in. Header goes up and it's cleared. It falls to Lofthouse on the edge of the box. Lofthouse has a shot. And it's tipped onto the bar. I thought so by the goalkeeper. No touch from the goalkeeper. Goal kick. Well, uh, <laughs> another decision. I mean, it, it seemed to hit the bar. That's the first thing to say, but it certainly looked like the keeper got a touch on that. It's with Maycock. He plays it out to Barnett on that far side. Barnett up against Casey. Does a step over, whips the ball into the box. Rooney goes up for the header and heads it high over the box, over the goal and out for a goal kick. That's their first chance of the game then. They look dangerous. It's cleared, but only so far as Wabuke. Wabuke then switches it out to Lofthouse on the corner of the penalty box he finds Campbell Campbell's in the box but he's from a wide position he scoops it up and over and it goes over the bar and out for a corner on that far side very good intricate play from the cards Wabuke in a central position he feeds Barna he plays it around the corner for Clark Clark's gonna get to whip this in he does Adam Rooney gets a toe to it knocks off a Woking player and goes out for a Solihull Moors corner good play by the home side though for the West Midlands side, he hits a long ball looking for Sabra. McNerney gets there first, gets his head in it, heads it down to Musa Diara, who then spins round and round and round Adam Rooney to find Wabuke. It's now with Anderson. He plays it into Britain. He then sets it for Alarakia. They're inside the Solihull half in the attacking third. It's now with Lofthouse on the corner of the penalty box, the right-hand side driving through, plays it across, and it's fallen for Taran Alarakia. He shoots, takes a deflection, the ball's not cleared. Gone out now to Anderson. Anderson's got space and he shoots and he lifts it high over the goal, over the stand. Poor execution there and it's out for a goal kick. Adam Rooney as well has, has, has looked, looked very isolated in this first 25 minutes or so. And uh, both class class forwards, but they need the service and they need... Uh, oh, poor back pass from Joe McNerney there and Sabra's in and he flicks it in to the back of the net off the post and that was really Woking's fault the masters of their own demise Joe McNerney with a poor back pass to Mark Smith and he couldn't do anything about it Joey Sabra leapt onto it hit it goal as it bounced it off the post and that's his 10th goal of the season and it's Solihull Moors 1 Woking nil. well that was disastrous really there and uh, unfortunately it was Joe McNerney I mean and Solihull Moors are leading by a goal to nil. How can Woking react to this? It's now coming forward though, and Sa Sabara's through again. Sabara is one-on-one. -on -one. He's up against Mark Smith, and Mark Smith goes down and uses his feet well to block that shot. Put it out for a Solihull Moors corner. Good goalkeeping. Good goalkeeping. Great, by, great by Sabara, but again, very vulnerable. And it really is. It's. So Josh Casey over this free kick. Plenty of players forward, just Lofthouse and Wabuke back. And he whips it in. It's a good whipped ball met by Musa Diara, but didn't really find the connection on the header. And it goes harmlessly wide of the goal. Boys finds Osborne. It's on this left-hand channel. Osborne cuts inside, trying to make a bit of space. Shoots hard and low. It's a good save, but it's spilt by Smith. It's then back to Sabari, he's on the corner of the penalty box, rolls his foot over the ball, goes past Lofthouse, then whips it across, 
cleared by McNerney. Yep, Hi Joe and Woking have conceded. It was really a goal, a gifted goal that they gave away. Joe McNerney, the centre-back for Woking, tried to play the ball back to his goalkeeper, didn't put enough on it. And Joe Sabara latched onto it and finished it off. And in fact, Solihull Wolves were just coming forward again and just fired a shot just wide. Woking a little bit under the cost here. If we've got five minutes left to play, it's Solihull Moors 1, Woking 0. Lingering on the edge of that six-yard box, hoping to get a touch on this. And it's going to be Boys who swings it in. Mark Smith tips it over his bar for a corner for Solihull. One minute left to play. The Solihull are playing a high line, so all their players out of the penalty box. It's whipped in back post, headed back across by McNerney. Headed clear, only so far as Lofthouse, though, who sets it back to Casey. Casey plays a similar ball, back stick, flicked on by McNerney. And then Anderson gets a touch on it, and then it's flicked forward. It's a good save by Ryan Boots. Danger still not cleared, though, but it's a bad pass from McNerney. And Solihull Moors managed to clear as the first half whistle goes. A moment there for Woking to get an equaliser just before half time. He's looking for options, not got many around him, throws it up. Lou Britton gets a push in the back. And Woking trying to tussle for the ball on the edge of the penalty box. Tanner and Alarakia is through. Alarakia shoots low into the side netting. He saw the opening, Alarakia, and he got good contact on it, but just couldn't direct it. And they'll do their classic tactic of passing it around the back, trying to pull. Woking onto them and Woking might need to press a bit more this half to try and nick the ball off them the ball's running back and then Joe McNerney plays it back to Mark Smith who picks it up so it's going to be an end direct free kick just inside the penalty box so we've got Osborne and Boys over this it's just inside the penalty box Osborne taps it Boys shoots low hits the wall and then Ball tries to set it back. Sabara shoots low, just wide of the bottom. Right-hand corner, goal kick for Woking. Dangerous cut out, though. Wabu K now goes down under a trip from Sabara, and he's going to win his side a free kick. And the referee wants a word with the goal scorer as well. Mark Smith over the set piece in his own half, hits it long high into the dark sky. It's headed clear by Howe, and he wins his side. He wins a free kick for his side as well. Osborne over this corner for Solihull. He whips it in, goes across and over everybody. If you're a manager for the attacking side, you'll be fuming at that. Sabara picks it up, though. He's driving towards the penalty box, whips a shot away, takes a deflection, or maybe even a save by Smith. I couldn't see because there's a column right in the way, Ian. Great save, Sabara then again. And now it's Osborne. Whips the corner in again. Player goes down. Joe McNerney hauled the player to the ground, and the referee has given... A penalty and a yellow card for Joe McNerney, who's having an absolute mare this afternoon, Ian. Well, that is a nightmare afternoon for Joe McNerney there. I didn't. I I was watching the ball. He's only got one goal so far in the league, Adam Rooney, but he's looking to double that with this penalty spot. Ref blows his whistle, little run up, and he smacks it emphatically into the back of the net. And Woking have gone two goals behind and that you've got to think is probably the end of it Ian well you'd think you'd think with just 15 minutes to go it will be and uh, but uh, Woking have got to do something very quickly to get back into this but uh, midway inside the Solihull half he threads it out to the left hand side Johnson goes up against his man tries to whip it in goes up hits the roof of the net I thought it was going to nest in the top corner there the ball is hit forward and it's Great control, trapped by Adam Rooney, then feeds it forward, looking for Maycock. Maycock's forward, and it's great goalkeeping from Mark, Mark Smith. Comes out. One or two moments, one or two mistakes. Woking haven't been opened up very much at all in, that, in open play. Good tackle from Jamal Oza in his own half, then he tries to go past his man. And it goes out for a throw-in, a little bit of pushing now. Oh dear, and Owen, Alan Dowson's gone up and pushed ball after he... Lashed out at Loza, bit of a tussle down here on the touchline and things are getting very heated here. I didn't quite see the initial one, I saw I saw Jamal Loza then get pushed over. Referee's and, got uh, a lot to unpick here. So the referee's just chatting amongst themselves. I think we're probably going to see some cards for a number of different people. So our referee comes over and gives a red card. To Jamal Loza, straight red. 
I think that's for kicking his man as he went off. I didn't see it, if I'm honest, Ian. And now no. the referee comes over and he gives a yellow card to Ball. Jamalos are walking through the tunnel off the touchline and the referee now coming over to Alan Dowson. And he shows a red card to Alan Dowson and sends, sends Dowson to the changing rooms. A bad afternoon for Woking. Becomes a very miserable afternoon for Woking. Wabuke, midway inside the opposition's half. He then whips it out to Johnson on that right-hand side. He's switched lane, switched channel, still got it. He's on the edge of the penalty box, They're right in the corner. Manages to whip it across, puts too much on it, and it hits the roof of the net. Second time, he's tried to cross it in, and it's gone out and hit the roof of the net. Goal kick for the home side, 2-0, Solihull Moors. Campbell gets the ball on the edge of the penalty box just well. Looks to go past Donawa. Donawa puts a foot across and gets it. And there is the full-time whistle. So a pretty miserable afternoon for the Cards here in the West Midlands. After a, a pretty hard-fought first half, they went down by a goal to nil after a poor back pass from Joe McNerney. He was latched onto by Joe Sabara, who hit it in off the post to put the home side 1-0 Leaders at the break, second half, McNerney hauled his man down 